In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the Dabs and Sponges brush pack I created for Adobe Photoshop and Fresco. You can download these brushes from my website at aaronrutten.com. Here's an example of a painting I created using this brush pack. I'll start by painting on the sky layer here, and let's take a look at Modeled Sponge. There are two basic techniques you can use with these brushes. The first is to create a dab, where you just tap in one place, or you can create a stroke, which will create a series of dabs. Many of these brushes also respond to pen pressure. With this brush, lighter pressure is going to blend more with the background color. Heavier pressure is going to cover, and I can get a mix of everything in between. So as you can see, this brush might work well for creating clouds and things like that. I can make my brush smaller if I want those features to be smaller, or larger if I want them to be larger. I'm gonna go ahead and hide these trees, and let's replace them using some of the brushes in this pack. The next brush I'll demonstrate is called Rough Dabs. If I just select any old color and paint with it, you can see I get these spongy dabs and they have a little bit of color variability. You can go into your brush settings and you can control that under color dynamics. Depending on the direction your pen is pointing, you can change the angle of these dabs as well. This is only possible if your tablet supports pen tilt. I'll make my brush really small about the width of the trunk that I wanna create. I'll hold shift and I'll draw in a trunk and one next to it over here as well. I'll sample that sky color, I'll lock the transparency of that layer, and I'll add a bit of reflection on the side. If I wanted to make that trunk a little bit more brown, I could do that on this side. We want to keep some shadows near the top here. While I'm here, I'll also just show you how I used it on this stone. I'll select a nice light color so you can see. But you can add directional shapes using this brush, like so. But we'll go back to this trunks layer. I'll create a layer beneath it. And let's use bristle dabs, just to put in something in the background here. Heavier pressure is gonna give me a more opaque stroke. Lighter pressure will give me a more transparent stroke. So let's put in some indications of tree shapes here. Make my brush smaller. If you're having trouble seeing what you're doing, you can always hide the background. Now that we have that shape blocked in, I'll lock the transparency of that layer. Let's use another brush called bushy dab. We'll select a lighter color, and let's paint in some of that. Lighter pressure is going to get you smaller features. Heavier pressure will get you bigger, broader features. I want to think about the lighting here. That's coming from the left side, so I want to shade my trees accordingly. Let's try the next brush, which is heavy dabs. I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller, and if I tap with this brush, I can create these little bristle dabs. If you want, you can lower the opacity by pressing the number keys on your keyboard. For example, if I press 5, I'll lower it to 50, then I'm only getting 50% opacity when I put these leaves on the tree. That allows them to kind of build up. Now let's have some leaves come in front of that. We'll add some really bright highlights here using the inverse sponge. If I just paint with this on its own, you can see I get this kind of inverted sponge pattern. Up here in the top corners, we have these vignetted trees. Let's see how we did those. I used the leafy dab brush for that, selected black, and just kind of do some twirling strokes here. Lighter pressure is going to give you smaller, finer features. Heavier pressure will give you larger features. Let's put in something like this in the corners. Now, because I don't want this to be too much of a tutorial about how to paint landscapes, I'll just quickly demonstrate the rest of these brushes here. We have sharp sponge, which gives you a different fractal spongy pattern. Lighter pressure creates a thinner, more transparent dab. Here's Splatter Sponge. This gives you a unique splatter effect. This works nicely for adding highlights on the trees. Here's Texture Sponge. You can use this to add texture to things. I could add texture to the rock. Or if I go to these tree trunks here, I can add texture to those to darken them a bit. Here's a Veiny Texture. This gives you an interesting texture that has some veininess to it. Again, I could use that on this rock here. Here's Fractal Veiny. Again, I could use this on the rock. It gives me this nice fractal pattern. I could also use it for leaves on the trees if I wanted to. Here's Hard Sponge. If I dab with this, you can see I get this really hard edge sponge pattern. I use this over here on this tree that looks like it's kind of hanging down. With a smaller brush, I just kind of pulled down like this. That creates these dangling leaves. For the grass, I used Burst Dab. And if I just paint a test stroke, you can see how this looks. 
You can also just tap with this brush to create individual grass details. You might also want to use this for trees. And the final brush is wet sponge. If I create some test strokes with this, you can see it builds up in kind of a wet way. I'll use this to create some different tree shapes like this. All right, that was a demonstration of the dabs and sponges brush pack I created for Adobe Photoshop. Download these brushes now at aaronrutten.com.